allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. What were you saying about the water? <laughs> so much better. Um, what shall we do with the consent agenda? I think we ought to approve it. Or second it. Okay, let's approve that. All in favor. Uh, the next Board of Selectmen meeting will be Monday, August 26 at 5.30 here in the town office. And um, under announcements, um, I've had some inquiries from people about concerning um, the relationship with the school board, with, with the select board. So I wanted to update people. Um, Christine and I met this afternoon with Emily Thompson and Keith Hines of the school board and with Stephen Bailey of the Maine School Management Association, which is an equivalent to the Maine Municipal Association for Educators. Uh, Mr. Bailey has been working with us to help us clarify roles and responsibilities between the town office and the school office. And as of today, we have agreed that Emily and Christine with Julie and Lisa will work out and agree upon a set of policies and procedures to facilitate better communication and increased efficiency uh, for the workflow between the offices. Uh, that uh, policy will be in place for payroll and um, accepting new hires at the school. Um, by September 1st, the first run will be for trial and um, finding the kinks and working those out. And Emily and Christine will take care of uh, straightening out the, any inefficiencies that are discovered. Um, September 1st is that date and we'll have um, new accounts payable policies and procedures by November 1st with, uh, again, Emily and Christine working out the bugs in whatever system is set up. We're really hopeful that this will help facilitate the work that both boards do in an effective manner and um, in increase communication along the way. We're also planning to set up uh, for probably January a, a joint workshop so that the boards will know each other and um, anticipating that as we move into budget season, um, increased communication can only help us all. So that is my comment. Anybody else got anything? Thank you guys for taking the time to take the initiative to start this process that's been long overdue. Yeah, um, I think we're all glad that it's moving forward. And uh, Mr. Beale has been enormously helpful. Not only is he um, the executive of the Maine School Management Association, he's a West Bath resident, so, oh. he, so he has extra cred. Good. Yes, and he's been very helpful to both both of us, um, both both sides of the road. Good. Very good. good. Is that somebody using the garbage to? Uh, I think it was. All right, garbage to gardens. Anybody else? Yeah, um, I have a follow-up on two items from the last week, just to the record. Uh, first item is uh, we have several, uh, I'm not sure they were residents or not, but they were obviously uh, owners and taxpayers general complaints about uh, uh, yards around town, we might, like junkyards, and lengthy discussions on s from several parties, and um, the board advised them that if anybody wanted the board to take any action, that they had to submit a formal complaint about a specific property and a specific issue. And uh, I was wondering, Christine, if you've received, or if, if anybody, codes enforcement officer, had received any formal complaints, can follow up 
to those discussions of two weeks ago. No, we haven't received anything yet. Okay. Surprised. And the other item is um, the um, revision. Uh, we voted on uh, the LED project last time. And we voted to approve, um, to move to accept the change order under the provision that the school board approves covering the increase with the provision, yeah, is an increase of uh, $6,000, I believe. Um, we can increase the LED. Did the school accept that? Um, not at this point, anyway. I spoke with Emily about it, and she said she could cover a portion of it, but not yeah. the full amount. Yeah. And with their upcoming board meeting, I think that that will probably be an item of discussion. Okay. All right. Good. Thank you. Thank you. Um, another note, um, we should take note of the um, hearing on a lease for aquaculture on August 20th, 2019 at 6 o'clock at the West Bath School Gym. And this one is for Mr. Morass? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, and the good news, the, we don't often get prizes, but we got a $2,108 dividend check from the Maine Municipal Association as a result of our good loss experience and loss prevention programs. Well done. Good job. It's nice to get a little bonus check. Yeah. Yeah. We usually send them money. Mm -hmm. It's nice to get so a little, little loss is a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, anything else? Public comment. Anything from the public this evening? The public remains silent for the time being. <laughs> Business item number one. Um, heating oil proposal. I have to find my spot. Is there other other? What's this business moving fine without that? So people have actually been using that recycling thing? Yes. You just saw it. It's really? cool. Yeah, they pick up every Monday morning. Hmm. It's just a Monday mistake. What's that? Yeah. No, that's oh, part business of the committee procedures. Yeah. Um, workshop. 
Let's oh, see. We're not, we're not calling for an executive session. So um, we need to officially adjourn and the, to a workshop? Yeah. Okay, let's do that then. All in favor? Do you want to leave everything on there? Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. okay, so it occurs to me, I mean, we did we did ask Christine to bring us into the 21st century with our committee structures, et cetera, et cetera. So this is kind of a this is only a wrap. So um, we've got a little bit of time to look at it. I'm just wondering if you have any comments. And this first sheet of paper that you have, the town committee structure and procedures, was business item five from the previous agenda. I just made the copy again so that because it was tabled at that meeting, I wanted you to have that same information that right. was provided. Um, this this former business item five was um, this about a question about serving. Them. Asking the same people to be on the same board of appeals and assessment review. Um, the other one was a suggestion, possibly to combine the membership of the budget advisory committee and the investment committee um, into a eleven-member finance committee, um, and that would have monthly meetings. There's a suggestion to disband the cemetery committee and the energy committee as the energy committee have re already completed their research and they've made their recommendation. And the recycling committee, the possibility of disbanding that. Um, the rationale for that is the committee members are actively active individually in hazardous waste collection and composting and don't need to be appointed to a committee to continue to serve in that capacity. Yeah, the committee members, um, there's usually only one or two committee members that are available to attend a meeting. Uh, Those meetings are always first thing in the morning on a Monday, yeah. uh, so they're not attended. No. I'm not sure um, if... What, what's, her, what's the lady name was the chairman? I think must be. Lid, yes. yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What does she think? Well, we haven't talked to any of the okay. committees yet. I think since the selectmen are the ones who appoint the committee, um, that the conversation needs to begin here. <coughs> Let's see what you think, sort of gauge how you feel about it. Um, the purpose is to create efficiencies and not have committees that are formed that don't serve a specific purpose for yeah. having meetings that can be attended. Yeah. What was the purpose of the cemetery committee? Mm -hmm. um, at one point, what, three years ago? Um, the, four, four. The, a while ago. The, um, the mowing wasn't being done appropriately and there um, have been some issues that were brought to our attention. And, no where and, and, and mm -hmm. the, some of the memory of where things were had been lost. So the, the cemetery committee relocated everything. They're now documented. I think you've seen the documentation. Mm -hmm. And um, and our new mowing contracts, um, at least from the easily identified cemeteries, the mm -hmm. ones you can actually drive by, um, they seem to be being well taken care of. We actually have a, an Eagle Scout that's working on his project, well, to become an Eagle Scout. Um, and he's putting together some sort of directory for the, at least the Witch Spring Cemetery. I'm not sure. Oh. One of the other larger cemeteries. So that should put that in that's very great standing. Yeah. yeah. That's wonderful. And finding membership for that committee has been challenging as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, some of the leadership for that um, really came from people who don't currently live in town, but whose roots are deep. Mm -hmm. 
So it was helpful at the time, but um, perhaps not needed anymore. And the fact that, you know, if you choose not to um, continue with any specific committee, it doesn't mean that people can't serve, that we wouldn't ask them for their input for um, help with the project or something. But I just have to question the validity of having all of these committees when some of them are not um, serving the purpose right now. Mr. Henson. What was the uh, purpose in disbanding the Energy Committee? Um, my understanding was that the committee was done with the task that it was. My understanding was that the, it wasn't just the LED or lighting program, it was to look at other uh, build efficiencies or oh, whatever know. else. It wasn't just, it wasn't uh, just the one. And as far as I knew, that the uh, other two members were, were interested in staying as a committee and looking at other ways the town may save energy. Okay. And they, we had talked about meeting this fall and seeing where it was going to go from there. Well, that's why we have to have written something in writing saying what these committees are formed for. Well, I believe because we had a a charge. I haven't seen any of that. I think it was probably in the minutes. Yeah. yeah, and we need more than that. We actually need a document for each committee stating what the charge is. Well, so that I know. I'm not going to use that document. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not asking for that. I can do it if I want to. That's why we're going over all of the committees yeah. right now, is because I think it's in the best interest of the community that the selectmen take a look at it and form a document for each of the committees so that everybody knows what they're. But I do know the other members on the committee are, are interested in at least looking at other issues and see if there's any uh, common sense solutions. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, is is a committee and a board are they synonymous? Yes. Okay. And the other question was uh, <coughs> uh, combining the budget committee and the investment committee. Yeah, I think that's a lot of people. That's it is a lot of people, but I'm, I'm, what I'm really looking for is a committee that I can go through the entire year with, where we meet regularly, I can bounce ideas off of people, and get a wide range of knowledge and experience. Um, I think it could be very effective for where what SPATH is right now. Um, I, I think it could be very functional. And then the budget committee would be aware of every everything surrounding the investments, it would broaden the budget committee's knowledge. And then if the investment committee members are interested in serving in that capacity, it would broaden their knowledge of general budgetary items. I think it could be very effective. I think that's potentially we, true. I just think 11 is a huge number. 11 is probably the most that you would want. Would you, I don't know if there would be attrition or not. Right. Um, would but. you? Uh, my concern would be maybe having a subcommittee on the investment side of it because I think that's more of a trained professional look at those numbers. And the three gentlemen that do that now are well versed in investing. Mm -hmm. So I don't think the whole finance committee as a whole would need to be involved in uh, researching interest rates. That's fine. I, I think when they're choosing a CD, which is basically what they do now, I think yeah. that could be a subcommittee. Uh, yeah. I, but I think the broader conversation, I think it would get more knowledge out into the community if more people are involved <coughs> in the process. I certainly have no, no uh, problem trying that. Just uh, I think the investment should be left to the, those three gentlemen. They've done a good job. Yeah. Oh, they definitely have. And they may not want to put the additional time into They may not. But I think it's worth at least talking about. So to follow up on that, if you decide to do that, would you just convene a general workshop meeting with the two committees to present this um, proposal? Yeah. Oh, to present the proposal? Yeah. To let the committees know what's yeah, yeah. involved. Or that not would involved. make sense. Mm -hmm. Before any changes are made, we would definitely want feedback from all of the committee members. If you're going to do fruit basket upset, you should warn the fruit. Yeah. You, 
you just we don't want to just go whoosh. No. Um, and it would be markedly different. So I understand that it would be a big change. So it is important to get the feedback. And to see if the members of each committee are interested in mm -hmm. that much time. You're serving in a different capacity. Yeah. But I think if we're actually meeting all year long, I think it would reduce the number of meetings that are necessary when we're in the budget process. Because I can talk about different pieces of the budget at different times of the year. I think it would be really helpful. Instead of packing it all into one season. Well, that's what I'm opposed to looking at. It all depends on the different members' feel. Mm -hmm. yeah, but I, if there's one committee that needs to work well for us, it's the budget committee, and, and it has. And so, <clears throat> with this suggestion to combine the two committees, is there a deficiency now that combining the two committees would resolve? I don't know that I would cite any deficiency. Well, I'm looking for a benefit. What, what's the, yeah, what's I think the a benefit? Yeah, I think a broader range of perspective and maybe some different questions. I think, um, I think the budget committee members have something to offer in a conversation about investing and vice versa. I think it was, they're two very different and distinct boards right now. And I think when they're brought together, I think it would it would have a different dynamic that would be helpful. Because the the advantage that I see is that we have a group of people more consistently looking at the overall financial picture of income and outgo and all of that kind of stuff on an ongoing basis. Just dedicated to what needs to be doing, what needs to be being done, and what are we anticipating? How does that fit in with the investments? How does that fit in with ongoing day-to-day -day stuff? That would be the advantage that I would see to doing it combined. So budget and investment, mm -hmm. then would that include uh, Taxes, tax collection, and uh, tax assessments. No, no, not necessarily. I mean, that doesn't that doesn't bar the committee from having a conversation during commitment. Um, that could be helpful, but if that wouldn't be a primary focus. If the um, members decide they want to do this, and the board does, how would we combine? either officially, unofficially, signed from the school board into this program. So as an overall picture, it's more, more of an overall picture for both the school and the town. Yeah, that's a good point. It's one that I didn't really think about. See if one of the members would want to serve on yeah, the Yeah, Well, because they have a subcommittee of the budget. Yeah, they, have they a, do. They, so. they have a finance committee that works. Mm -hmm. So, so That's interesting, David. I like that. Coordination across the highway would be a good thing. Yeah. Even if you just, they just came a couple times a year. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So everybody knows what's going on in town. And it's just another way of bringing everybody together. Yeah. I think if we could figure out a way to simplify the budget process, that could only be helpful. But I want to make sure that we maintain the, the contact that we have with the various committees. I like the process of having people come in and say what they're planning to do and how much money they anticipate mm -hmm. having, having to have in order to do that. And then the, the, the refinement of that that takes place in the committee, I think is really important. But an overarching, if we can figure out a way to have an overarching picture of the so everybody knows just what the assets of the town are. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we're not trying to figure that out at the last minute when we're knee deep in budget season. 
everybody would already be on the same page. They would know. Have you been on the committee, Peter? Well, I'm just going to say I need some time to think about this to digest it. I agree. Yes. The one advantage that I can see right off the top of your proposal is meeting every month, particularly the budget committee. Um, I think we take for granted how much time and attention Dave, as chairman, mm -hmm. spends, because Dave knows the budget as well as we do, and the rest of the, the rest of the committee um, relies on Dave. Yeah. And if we had the rest of the committee, it would be almost up to the speed that Dave yeah. is at. I think the town would be far, far more beneficial situation. As far as combining with the investment committee, I got to think about that. I'm, I'm seeing right now the investment committee and the budget committee is apples and oranges. They should remain that way. But I got to think yeah. about it. I think that dynamic would be interesting myself. It's, I can understand the reticence too. Yeah, I just think it's those guys. Is, is, and they may not be interested in serving in a different path. It's, it's, a, it's a different type of job. It's, it's, it's different, but I do think it's important that they know what the town's goals are. And mm -hmm. I think the fire truck, they know kind of what's going on. But if, I think that their timing. Well, yes and no. It, it, it's, right now it's, it's pretty like flexible. A, it's not a duplicate budget committee. Right. It's the investment committee. Right. And they're investing on what is three months or six months, and they can certainly find out what... Yeah, At their exactly. past couple of meetings, they have expressed some amount of disconnect with um, yeah. our process, though. And that's actually when we started thinking about, well, would it make sense to make some changes? Because they don't understand the timing of how we want to spend our resources. Um, and there is a little bit of a disconnect. Well, if nothing else, it certainly wouldn't be a, uh, a problem to have a meeting with them. Mm -hmm. For those that couldn't make it just to... Maybe they join the committee quarterly or something. Yeah. Some iteration of this proposal. But to bring all parties together in some form is a good idea in itself, rather than having separate you know, separate committees and separate functions and very little communication, so. I think the most important piece of the proposal is that we have consistent meetings throughout the year. I think that will go a long way to improving process and communications. That's the most important piece to me. So what would you anticipate, say, you call the budget committee meeting in September? Mm -hmm. What would you? I think we just, even if we chose a few items from the budget and talked about how those lines are working and if we're planning for them in the appropriate way, I think the fact that we're just sitting down and having a conversation is beneficial. Even if we don't vote on anything or take any distinct steps. Do you think quarterly? Christine would do the same thing as far as keeping the budget committee up to date where the town is. I don't know that it would. You know, I would like to get the expense detail from TRIO, for example, and have it on a monthly schedule and have the committee review it to really see where you are. To you're see where we are get the sense of whether or not we're on track. If we're too short in certain areas, or spending too much in others. And it just gives people an opportunity to say, hey, why are we paying for this? We found an item recently that we had been paying for for years that hadn't been used. Um, I think it just brings more people into the process and gets the information out into the community in a more productive way. And it helps the committee members to really understand the accounts better. 
and frankly, it will help me too. Yeah. Um, I understand that some of the things that we do in West Bath are unique to West Bath. I don't know that they're unique to West Bath, but they're unfamiliar from what I'm used to. So, um, I, I don't think we're in any way, shape, or form ready to make any um, radical changes this evening, but it's a it's, um, good thing to think about. And I just want to say, this being the cemetery committee, that's I have some angst with that because we do finally have them up to where they need to be. So we dissolve that. But nobody's participating. Like well, that. I think Other we need to. Yeah, I'm going to be honest with you. I've gone to the, the cemetery, cemetery and it sucks. No. I am sorry. We do not do a good job with the cemetery. But if, if we them. don't have committee members who are stepping so forward. So I don't think we just disband. I think we try to get renewed interest and get people involved in the things that we really need to if there's a concern in some things that need to be done, not just banned because nobody's attending. Maybe there's a lost interest, and I think we have to keep putting it out there. I think there are some people that are interested, but we just say it's all okay, and I don't think it's all okay. I think that one of the things that community was going to look at three years ago or two years ago was to uh, the shape of some of the, the headstones mm -hmm. uh, and check with the Legion and other people to see if you get funding to do some of that. Don't think that's happened, but before us disbanded, I would agree with with, with uh, Kathy that it should be at least looked at and see if we can find some new members who would actually have yeah, time. If people are genuinely interested. They need to come in and express interest. In the right, but I, I think that needs to happen. Because right, right, right now we have one just, person. Well, that's fine. But I think we also, as a town, need to express interest to the town and put it out there. Do we have any interest? We have had a dwindle and not just disband it because we don't see any interest. Because I'll be frank with you, I have a lot of interest. And I don't want to see it disbanded. Well, then, what, would it make more sense for the selectmen to be the ones to lead the charge instead of having a committee? I don't know. This I'm is kind of what I'm suggesting. Right, but I'm just saying those are the conversations. I think we need to put it on our website. I think we need to get it out there as we're thinking about these big changes. Mm -hmm. Because what's, what's bad is unique. There's some things people here don't want to give up. Right, but what I'm, from an administrative standpoint, I am seeing no interest in certain committees. And, and that's what I'm looking at. That's right, the but there's no cost associated with them. I think we have to make sure there's no interest before we just get it. Because if we start getting all these complaints about how bad the cemetery is, then we're going to have an expense plus an interest. I think that's, well, that's the selectman and the administrator. That's, that's what we have, is if we get these complaints about the cemetery, there's a lot of interest about the cemetery, but nobody wants to step up and do anything about it. That's what the problem is. Right. So. Well, let's give it a go then. Um, put out, front, like, put Dave out said, the headstone issue, I don't know who was responsible for that, why it hasn't been addressed. I know one of the issues was, um, our veteran used to get flagged every year. That's not happening. I mean, what what happened? Where's where's it? The legion was supposed to do that. Where's it say that? They may have. No, the legion says they do it. Yeah, well. There of needs to be money in the budget it. for it, though, and I noticed that we don't have money in the budget for flags. I we wonder about that to too. Do we have to pay those for those flags. We did in Bristol. Really? Oh, there you go. Well, and if there is no committee support, it could be absorbing, like we have the health officer. Could we have a cemetery officer, someone that's appointed? Right. You know, I yeah, mean, they go the road commissioner, I'm sure water, he but. doesn't have the time to take on additional tasks, but. And you do put information out about yeah. committee seats on the website. And there's nothing more it's than people going and visiting the cemetery, the cemetery in processes. <laughs> on Memorial Day weekend and seeing them on the it's a bad image for this town. It's like we don't care. And it has been a mess. I mean, the, the witch spring one has been better. It's been cleaned up. The witch spring one? Um, there is no There is no road. Oh, OK, yeah. yeah. Well, I guess I'm looking at it two ways then. Try to get a committee, active committee. If not, maybe the idea of appointing someone to head this up, um, 
maybe with a legion, you know, have somebody that's maybe you can find that resident would want to take us on as their. I'm going to say there's got to be a resident that's a legion member of this town. I don't. I mean, all it would take would be a quarterly visit to check in and see. If, but you're we right. You don't need a committee for that necessarily. It's hard to find a committee, but if I would at least try one more time committees. If not, try for one person. Yeah. Um, I think the outs has some, some kind of thing that they do too for their outs members. And it has well, I, I understand the uh, Legion maintains a list of, and because uh, I asked, I said, how do you know where you know all these graves are? And he just said, we know where all these graves are. So, okay. It's just the and, right. and that's just what they do. Could possibly be yeah. that, well, we didn't know where all I the cemeteries were. I used to see the appropriation for Mm -hmm. Well, if we have to do that, we, we should do it. Yeah. Agreed. Mm -hmm. yeah. And um, uh, several years ago, in the the, the big cemetery. Are the schools? Yeah, the one that is not part of the town. Oh, no. Uh, Orchard. Orchard. Orchard Park, yeah. Um, somebody came in with rant and rave and wanted a, a flag was all tattered and torn. They wanted a new one for the 4th of July put up. So, uh, I went ahead and um, we contacted the Legion. The Legion gave us a flag free of charge, and I went and hung it. And that was that. Everybody was happy. And the Legion didn't charge us for that flag. It was a big flag, too. Um, and they said they were giving us an even bigger, more, uh, a bigger flag would have fit the flagpole better, but they didn't have one. So, um, I just think. And it's, it's silly, I know, but the way a cemetery looks really reflects on the town. Oh, it's definitely important. I'm just not sure that a committee is going to be our solution. Well, you may be very right about that. Yeah. Is this, has this not worked? It well, doesn't work if we find a volunteer. We could appoint that volunteer. But a, but a cemetery <laughs> officer is a good idea. Yeah. Well, I'd throw it on Bean, but I think he's a little busy right now. <laughs> and I'd throw it on Steve, but he'd. <laughs> but I'd be happy I mean, to drive around with even a quarter. Roger and Hill sometimes has been housed. I'd like it to get in there. Oh, that's, that's a private one. It's a private one. The town has nothing to do with that. That's yeah. private. There are some lots for sale, though, if you're looking to get in. I have all my lots. Thank you. Literally <laughs> get in. You really want to get in there. That's a, that's, Already purchased. That's a, that's a common mistake made by people in town. They think it's a town cemetery. Right. It's not. Yeah. Roger Hill is privately private. Right. discussion that started the whole committee. Yes. Yeah. Um, I, I, who would we contact about the headstones? Um, that's on the town. I mean, you yeah, I know it's, it's on us, but who, I don't know anything about well, you can how contact a monument or restoration or they company and they there. can come out and take a look and make a suggestion. Um, Does it Dago have a, is he a monument company? Plant. Does uh, Paige still? Or Paige. I think Paige still does. Yeah. Well, it's not Paige. No. It's a different I'm sure. I think that they would come out and, you know, but draw also, a proposal for... Years ago, like the Legion there, again, used to help with some of those projects for veterans. And maybe they still would. Yeah. But you're right. We need someone to mm -hmm. do it. Yeah. Edit it out. Well, and I, I don't want to be... Pointing the finger at myself, but we're definitely <coughs> responsible for the town cemeteries, so I don't mind making some of those phone calls if you want. Yeah, well, like fixing fixing um, headstones, for example. Um, reality is, you fix one or two headstones, you have to kind of fix them all. Now, <coughs> how responsible does the town want to be for this? Yeah, that's another question that needs to be discussed. No, 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 it's like maybe a couple years that is all that we're going to probably want to take yeah. care of. But is that one behind the school out? Yeah. With the, in Mary's New Road. All uh, of them except Orchard Hill are ours. Many years ago, I think someone donated the granite chain fence, one, and one's broken on that. One's been knocked down. Probably somebody hit it and ran. 
Maybe instead of fixing all the headstones, maybe you fix one century, and then when you get that century repaired, then maybe you go for another 50 years or 100 years, and maybe do it that way, because Peter has a good point. That's a good idea. We can start with the 14th century. Right. <laughs> and Mr. Montgomery is a veteran, so maybe he would be a good officer for the committee. Maybe, but... Especially if we do have a lot of World War II veterans out there, we yeah. do have a responsibility. Yeah. Oh, there's civil war veterans out there. Yeah. Yeah. Well, years ago, we ended up, up cemetery appointed at the town meeting, right? Yeah. 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 What? First in charge of cemeteries appointed at the town meeting. Yeah. Uh, like a severe wood back and lumber. Yeah. <laughs> Fence viewer. Fence viewer. Fence viewer. All those things gone. Now we need them back. <laughs> Who knew? And Christine, the, the discussion started about committees just in general, about disbanding committees. Would uh, to stand a committee back up after we disbanded it, or you disbanded it, seems like it, that would be an administrative burden as well. So would it just be easier for administrative reasons to uh, maybe just uh, uh, designate the committee as inactive or the membership vacant and then stand it up, stand it back up when you would need yeah, to stand it Yeah, the select board certainly choose to do that. So that we'll call it inactive rather sense. than disbanded. I would think that would give the board time to put together a document that says this is the committee's charge. So, so these are the active there. committees and these yeah. are inactive And committees. then when somebody says, hey, I want to serve on a committee, what does this committee do? We have something committee. to show them yeah. so that it's clear what their charge is. I think that's important. We, uh, yeah. Very yeah, because we've had we've had instances where committees have not understood the the scope and limitations of their responsibilities. Yeah, we we problem. we addressed this um, several several years ago at this point, and generally the policy that this board adopted about the committees was once once the task hand is completed, but generally speaking, we'll, we'll disband it because of a, uh, you have um, membership term lapses. Um, and then if you want to fire up, uh, start up a committee again, what was, you're dealing with mission statements and that kind of thing. And we decided it would just be easier to to discontinue the committee once its function was completed. And then if the need came up in the future, we'll just start another committee. Oh, well, that sounds fine too. With a, it's fine know, with me. With a specific pointed uh, mission rather than try to have it fall back on, on the old. I was just thinking it, it would save you from reinventing the wheel. We already right. had it sitting yeah. there in the, yeah. uh, sitting there in the, uh, what, in the parking lot. You just pull it out of the parking lot. Mothballs. On the task note, I did mention to Christine that I feel like several committees, like the Comprehensive Plan Committee, that really should have been a task force. You know, yeah. things that are for finite amounts of time to complete a specific goal. Although Comp Plan comes up every years. 10 years, so maybe. Yeah. But those kinds of details are outlined in the policy. Yeah. But what's the chances that every 10 years you have the same people? <coughs> yeah, that it's not like <coughs> Well, their terms run out and then when it comes back up. Oh, oh I see. But okay. that's an inactive committee. Right. Yeah, I, I, I kind of like the idea of being able to just say this committee is currently inactive. And, um, and then if there's a need, and you know what they're tasked to do. It's like the reserve. You and you know what to serve. <laughs> then it's all there. You're not reinventing the wheel from scratch. Absolutely. So if you have a cemetery committee, what do you expect for that committee? And if it's inactive and you get all these complaints of people stepping up, you can pull out and say, this is what it is. Do you still want to do it? Yeah. Yeah. Rather than reinventing the wheel every time. Sort of as a placeholder, right. I guess. Mm -hmm. As long as the charge continues to be the same. Right. Yeah. Yeah. If you're reactivating, you need to take a, at least one look at it. Yeah. 
what the current needs are. Like with the energy committee, I had the idea that it was just for the LED project. I didn't know. So it would be nice to have something in writing that says this is long term what the committee is responsible for. There is something somewhere in writing because it was. Yeah. And it I was just have it up down yeah. the end. In the I mean, minutes of the last I mean, year or something? Well, but the energy committee existed long before the energy well, project came up. But there was no, John Davis. Though. There was no committee, though. Yeah. The, they kind right, of, the it, members it, had lapsed. It would have been an inactive committee if we had that category until we reactivated it. Yeah. 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 We should have that category. Yeah. Makes sense. You have time tomorrow? <laughs> I have all the time in the world. Um, so, the hour is getting late again. Um, so, do you want to have us read this over and ruminate on it? And we'll yes, it and, mark it, and mark it up. And mark it up and put questions on it. And, because this is one document that we want to get set in stone for at least the next year. Now, this is a question. Um, on the, this topic, I realize this is destined to be custom fabricated for the town of West Bass specifically. Mm -hmm. Where does the, the MMA, the mighty MMA, where do they sit on this? Do they offer anything for guidance? They always have something to say about uh, something. I'm they, trying to think if anything is on their website about committees. I'm not. Action Eric boards and committees? Yeah. Everything's I mean, they have their manuals, and some information is lifted from their manuals that yeah. are pointed towards certain yeah. topics. But. Um, as far as committee charges, I, I don't remember seeing anything. Okay. We could certainly inquire. Yeah, they may have some suggestions, right? Yeah, I'm thinking they pro probably put out like a vague outline, guideline kind of thing, hopefully. And for if anybody was interested in following that or using it as a prompt, hopefully that's what they've got. Mm -hmm. To uh, step in a hole where they say, "Oh, you're doing this wrong." And, you know, oh no, I don't think there would be anything like that because of home rule. Yeah. But and, um, it's pretty much up to the board of selectmen how and the town how we want to see it handled. I did have a question um, about the having the same people use um, the zoning board of appeals and the. Board of Assessment Review. Can you talk about um, your rationale for that? I think there are two committees that um, serve on an infrequent basis. They're both quasi-judicial boards, so they have a similar, um, similar duties, and that's something that's pointed to in the policy as well. There's a statute that allows the same people to serve on in both capacities. Okay. I think it would create an efficiency that could be helpful, um, especially in times where we don't find enough people to serve. Um, if uh, Board of Assessment Review uh, renders a decision and it's appealed, mm -hmm. it's appealed to uh, superior Court, not to the Zoning Board of Appeals, right? Correct. Not not to the Zoning Board of Appeals at all. Correct. Under any circumstances. Right. So there shouldn't be any reason why no, the, people... No, the Zoning yeah. Board of Appeals is for members. Yeah. Well, and administrative as well. Not not by yeah, design. We don't have a zoning board. We and that might, board be, no, that, might board be some, that might be something we want to talk about as well. Because if we have an appeals board that hears appeals other than zoning, Which we, we need to we need to be clear about that and mm -hmm. what that means and what their what kind of issues that they're expected expected to hear. Um, 
with so what would be an example with assessing they would not appeal to a board of appeals okay. that wouldn't happen that definitely under goes, any circumstances that definitely goes to the main court yes okay. absolutely but because West Bath has a board of assessment review yeah it doesn't even go to the county commissioners I, that's it, why it you goes have the board right assessment by the review. county commissioners and it goes to court yeah no that's why we we fought to establish that board with mm -hmm. The county just wasn't doing us any favors. So Peter, in your experience, go. other than zoning, what have they, what is the Board of Appeals? Um, somebody gets uh, a complaint or fired, they have a right to appeal. That would go before it. Oh, according to our employee handbook, those appeals are brought to the select. Yeah, that wouldn't go to a Board of Appeals. Mm -hmm. No. Um, it would be planning board decisions. Not necessarily zoning, but well, it's about land use. Um, any, I don't think. We've I mean, if they're acting as a fair hearing authority, do we have someone else appointed as fair hearing authority? The selectmen should be appointed as fair hearing authority. Right. So I, I, I just don't know what else the appeals board would hear. Well, if uh, selectmen would hear things like. Firing or or uh, disciplinary or anything like that, then I don't know what the board of appeals would. Uh, it's a zoning board of appeals. Just based for zoning. I think we need to clarify that and make sure that we're all on the same page. I don't know if we've ever had an administrative hearing or not. Oh, I would do. I know I've certainly <laughs> threatened several times to file one. So, uh, is the name Zoning Board of Appeals adequate? Yes, that's the correct okay. term, ZBA. And, and, it has, and that would cover anything that, about land use that would come from the planning board. Correct. If I, didn't, if I didn't like them telling me that I couldn't build my 40-story building on mm -hmm. a two-acre lot, then she, my, she my, my <laughs> <laughs> And this is all. Um, outlined in statute and in MMA's manuals very clearly what the duties of the appeals board okay. are. Okay. So that is something we may want to present at some point to the board of appeals? Like the I, job descriptions responsibility? Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Are those committees, um, are those boards right now f uh, full or not? No. No. They each have the minimum number. Board of Appeals has two of their three members with no alternates. And Board of Assessment has four, I believe, with one regular and one alternate. Yeah, and that's rather weak. Yeah, Board of Appeals and two, and that's... Yeah, I think Appeals Boards are actually supposed to have five members, but I'm not sure about that. I have to check. I think you're right. I think, they have I think if have we combine them. them, I think it would make one strong. Well, quorum of yeah. three. Yeah. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah. I mean, when I brought put the committees out, I have not gotten any interest mm -hmm. in those. Ashley is on Board of Appeals because she was sitting here and we coerced her. <laughs> and I think she did resign because she forgot about it. Because it doesn't And they'd be infrequent. Right. I was on Board of Appeals for, I don't know, three, four years. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We only met once. Yeah, they've only met once. No, and our, our only. Uh, it's a good show when they do. Uh, the only variance that uh, that uh, we've well, ever seen. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, this is a lot to think about. Mm -hmm. um, so we're gonna we're gonna. See if we can re, re, um, restore the energy of the cemetery committee. And um, oh, do you think we need to put feelers out on all of this? And what happens happens. You know, this is their chance to 
respond mm -hmm. or not? No? Um, and yeah. So you see, if there's any interest out there, you can't yeah, lead a horse to water. It, you need to make the town residents, I guess, responsible to step up and decide what's important, what's not important, and what we let go by the wayside. And if we find that doesn't happen for whatever reason, then we'll find a way to get it done. Yeah, and I without a committee, we wouldn't have a problem. Uh, I don't know what it would entail, but. Overseeing the cemeteries and doing some of that work. I'm not sure what what it would entail, but as long as I don't have to repair the stones and do the mowing. And I think it would be fairly minimal. I think it would be as easy as checking in mm -hmm. seasonally, you know, right at the spring to see if limbs have fallen, and then in the fall, kind of maybe before. Yeah. And I would be happy that. to contribute too. Well, I yeah, just need absolutely. somebody to give me a tour. So I know where I'm going. It might be fun to have a site visit. I was going to say, so let's yeah, site visit. Maybe the historical society would like to. We tried to. Interest. We tried to get them involved, and they had no interest in partnering up with the cemetery committee. Oh, that's that's too bad. They're not a town committee. They are not. Yeah. They're not. The historical society is its own organization. Right. Have, have they have they done anything since uh, Avery? Got they still meet. They do? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, so if we have, we put the word out on cemeteries. Um, you can be the captain. <laughs> That's a wonderful the captain with our ship. <laughs> um, yeah, one of the things that should be happening, in addition to mowing, is um, leaves need to be raked. Probably up at on the berries mill. A bit of trimming. Which spring the blueberries ought to be harvested. But the trees are growing. Yeah, it probably growing. Oh, oh. Growing in Captain. Yeah, Hitler. they're cutting forever. Yeah. Um, so maybe we should, for next year's budget, take a look at what what kind of expense it would be to. Have those trees taken down? Mm -hmm. um, I like the idea of doing a tour. I think that would be really helpful to them all involved. Um, and I would be happy if the committee idea doesn't work out, I would be happy to oversee cemeteries and take a look periodically and see if everything's. Because. You know, um, Maybe we could set it up for either late afternoon or, or which would be available on a Saturday morning. Sure. So that people who have day day jobs could mm -hmm. actually, if, if they always, were interested. I'd go on Saturday. Maybe during hunting season, you know. <laughs> shall, we, shall we wear brown? <laughs> With my white hat. <laughs> Put, put on white mittens and wait. <laughs> <laughs> so sad. <laughs> I think not. <laughs> uh, that woman up in uh, Camden 40 years ago. Killed, that's what she was doing. She said, you can't do it on my property. She was hanging on laundry out. Yeah. 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 Which is very sad. <sighs> yes. Only use your colored sheets during hunting season. Okay, are we done for the evening? Yeah, and we'll address this next time. Um, yeah, let's take a look at it and um, maybe not accept it yet, but make our uh, recommendations yep. for um, edits and that kind of stuff. I, I like do we want to do it next time? Next time is going to be a really full agenda. The next time is the big agenda. Yeah. We've got the um, bids and our representatives. That's going to be heavy. I oh, think there's yeah. going to be a lot of people in the audience. So. Yeah. And I was going to suggest, because we have all the bids on the website now, so when those go down, I'll bring up all the committees. So if we meet the, the second meeting in 
September. Yeah. That would give a chance to see yeah. if we've gotten any response. Yeah. Maybe committees can be our September focus. Late September. That would be nice. Yeah. Can we break a big meeting up like that over two weeks? We could do. I, no, I mean, really, it's, it's, I think it's less of a burden to meet for a couple of consecutive Mondays than it is to try to tackle one big, huge agenda. Like a special meeting to talk about committees? Yeah. Because you want to remember the first Monday in September is going to be a holiday, right. so we're going to that one, so it probably makes sense. We're getting close. But, um, September, are you kidding me? No, yeah. no. If you, if you trust us, Christine and I can divvy up the agenda and... Yeah, yeah. Sounds do good. It, do a two-weeker rather than a four-hour. Yeah, I, we all run out of gas after Yeah, a while. it feels yeah. real heavy. Yeah. yeah. There's a big, long agenda. It's like, oh, now what? <laughs> and so actually, I, I am going to push the that. HR policy. Oh, well, it makes sense. Yeah, yeah. 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 I've been yeah. 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 I want to thank you for yeah. this is this, this is very thorough. Um, yeah, it's content. You put a lot of work in it, obviously. Yeah. And, um, so it's um, we'll get to work on it. It's going to become a value. Mark it up. Carly had some recommendations too that aren't incorporated, so okay. we can talk about that as well. Regarding the cemetery committee and long-standing families of uh, heirs or or family tree that are out of the area, would there be benefit of inviting those folks to participate in the committee? Do they, in other words? Do they have to be West Bath residents to participate on a committee like cemetery since their families may be represented in the cemetery? We'll do, we'll we'll do a task force, in yeah. which case it doesn't matter. Right. It would be nice if some families would like to drop the cemetery. Yeah, we said we got 12 of them. Yeah, it would be nice. Um, just, that's an yeah. interesting okay. concept. Well, I like that concept. Well, the school does take trips out back to their right. cemetery, so yeah. obviously they're slightly better attended than... Right, it would just be nice if someone had an interest, like you say, yeah. Well, some somewhere. of them are surrounded by uh, the yeah. The, in, the investment so. committee was never our... It, I mean, it was our original intent that we were kind of convinced we were going to have to go outside of West Bath to get some expertise to serve on it, but as yeah, it happened... Absolutely. We it got can three be residents. It, it was never families. the intent to yeah. restrict it to residents only. Yeah, and mm -hmm. it still isn't. So that we do that all the time. Kind of we point. call it a task force. Let's see if anybody's interested. Same thing. Kind of, it's a good idea. Because there's cloud and there's tons of people. You know, I, I guess it would be worth pursuing. Yeah. Adopt a cemetery. I think, I think, yeah, it's an interesting approach. It could be hard to try something. I mean, I don't have anyone, but I would be willing. Yeah, just just one that you want to check up on. And yeah. You don't have to go weekly. Yeah. No. Month. And then you can have somebody go check in in April and say, hey, Memorial Day weekend's coming, yeah. I noticed. Mm -hmm. Or in the fall, you know, these trees are And we just put an email out to all of our families, say, asking for an update. Mm. And another approach might be to um, possibly contact the abutters to the cemeteries that we're looking to uh, encourage adopt a cemetery. Mm -hmm. You as an abutter, do you have any ideas? And mm -hmm. they might say, oh, well, I'll, I'll adopt a cemetery that's right. Right, right next to me, because I'm not very big. Right. Oh, I'm sure. And some of them are. They might just think, well, that's somebody else's responsibility. It's yeah. a cemetery. It's not my cemetery. I'll leave or the cemetery if alone. Somebody sees it's the weekend before Memorial Day weekend, call in the legion and say, hey, are you going to put those flags out? I yeah. Mean, kind of and sometimes there's people who are willing to take a weed whacker and just, you know, do a yeah. little training it. Yeah, so it's nothing more than making them feel welcome yeah. at the cemetery that might be abutting their property. Right. And I think that's part of the community that this town would miss. We don't have a community. I think this would be a way to 
staff that can you meet it. We need to find ways to make this a community and not this disjointed odd town that we are. Odd collection of odd people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it becomes more challenging when there's no actual town center. Yeah. Well, there's not one town center. Yeah. I think so. Fodder for gossip. They really don't. They're for the no, most part. People are just in and out. Yep. Yeah. Ready ready to go. Or everyone that stops and spews. It's a polar opposite from Tesco. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So what other do, have we heard anything about DOT and the stop light or Oh, that's not happening until next year. Next oh, fall. It was supposed to be this fall, I thought. Yes. No, no, the bids, the bids were up in like December or something. Yeah. yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah, for to start in like, April, I think. I don't it think it's going to happen. In time to tie up traffic for the summer tourists. You no, know, they said they had it all done. Yeah. Next year. They did that call yeah. pretty fast, mm -hmm. I thought. They did do that yeah. call much faster than I expected that they would do it. And thank goodness because it was really hard to get around town for a while. Um, so we can call it the stoplight. The stoplight. Well, the then we can become That's going to be the real <laughs> meeting place. People are going to be waving at their neighbors from the stoplight, uh, rolling town. down the windows. From one light town. <laughs> Just like Mayberry. <laughs> we, could, we could finally get a town slogan. We could. Yeah. Meet you at the stoplight. <laughs> one light. <laughs> stop, stop, stop. <laughs> One light just right. I like to press that and get top to do cemetery. <laughs> okay, we're silly. Go home. Oh, wait, we, yeah, we're, we're, we're already we're adjourned. Already, yeah. okay. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. I guess nobody wanted to join us.